disclaimer there was renovations going on upstairs so if you hear any rackling rumbling tumbling or fumbling just know that i'm okay we're okay i hope you guys enjoy the video don't find yourself in the same position that you were in january 1st 2023 hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is shantae otherwise known as shawnee with a t and on this channel we do modest fashion christian content and now we're going to be adding something new crafting i've always been a crafter at heart but now i want to include it in my channel because i realized that this is no longer going to be posting videos this is more of documenting my journey through this life so i'll be posting everything that's interesting anyways it's the new year happy 2024 girl we finally made it if you are here watching this video you made it to 2024 to god be the glory great things he has done yes i'm gonna be doing a 2023 recap slash vision board accomplishments uh i was contemplating on whether or not to do this video because it's 2024 i shouldn't be bringing 2023 over into 2024 but I wanted to do this video since last, like since the end of last year, but I didn't get a chance to because I was so busy. But now we're here, we made it, and I wanna do a recap. And hopefully if it makes it to the live screen, I mean, it was just that good, all right? So first of all, I have a couple questions that I'm going to be answering in this video based off of the year 2023. 2023, oh my gosh, when it first started, I was moving from my old house into a new location. So like, I didn't get the chance to set goals. I didn't get the chance to sit down and be like, yo, let me do a vision board. I did my vision board, I think in February. It was a lot, like in the beginning of last year, it was a lot because, Everything was all over the place. Like, I wasn't set up in my room. Like, you know, things were just all over the place. So everything started really late for me. But nevertheless, we made a vision board. The question is, did we accomplish everything that we put on that vision board? We'll see. So the first question is, what was the most important lesson you learned last year? Oh my gosh. The most important lesson that I learned or took from 2023 is, like, there was um, a couple of lessons that I learned. I did write it down somewhere, but I don't remember where I wrote it. One of them, I know it's the most important, but listen, um, putting yourself first and um, don't be a yamid. No, but seriously, and making God the center of, you know, your life and giving him your plans no matter what it is, because at the end of the day, we don't know what tomorrow holds, but God holds the future. So if we put everything into the hands of God, everything will be all right. You know, if, ands, buts, or maybes. And last year, like, and, to, and the crazy thing is toward the end of last year, that's when I started to like focus on myself, you know, and isolate myself. Not not really isolate myself, but isolate myself from those who I don't see the same um, like path. I'm not throwing no shade at anybody, but this is personally, you know, what I went through in 2023 in regards to personal growth. I just isolated myself and started to find stuff that I like to do, started to find stuff that I'm passionate about. And I really saw growth in that area when it came to like um, friendships. I don't got no friends, but I started to set up a study life. Go when God is ready to give me friends, you know, I'm definitely open to it because God gonna give me the right friends. I think I went off topic a little bit. Okay. But it's okay. Um, what did you let go of? Oh my god. What did I let go of? I let go of that B word. I won't say it, but I let go of that B word. I'll spill it out, but I'm never gonna say it. B R O K E. Out of my vocabulary, I will never put that on my life. I will never be. I will sometimes be low on funds, but I will never be that B word because once you start putting that negativity in your life, you're speaking that over your life. And the mouth and the tongue is a powerful, powerful instrument. So I let go of that B word last year. Like if anybody came to me talking about something, oh, I'm B, I'm B, I'm B. I'm like, no, change that mindset. It all begins with the mindset. If you don't have that mindset of, yes, I will have money. I have money. Money will always come to me no matter if, hey, yo. If you don't have that mindset of, yes, I will have money, I have money, money will always come to me. No matter if I'm really short on funds, no matter if I have $5 in the bank account, I will always have money because God is the source and he will provide for me. If you always have that mindset, trust and believe, baby girl, you will never be B-word. And also pay your tithes. 
Next question, what skills did you gain? All right, the number one skill that I'm proud of and it also hurt me, I'm supposed to have on my splint right now, but for the sake of this video, I'm like, let me let go of the splint for right now. The skill that I've acquired over this past year is sewing. Oh my gosh, like that's literally my bestie. I sewed scrunchies, I sewed dresses, I sewed, the only thing, I, did I sew a skirt? I didn't, I didn't make a skirt yet, but I started sewing in September. I bought so originally I bought a sewing machine for my dad for his birthday but he told me that you know the machine is a little bit too advanced for his liking so he stuck with his old machine so I took it um but it, it took me like a year and some change for me to take the machine up because I started you know working on something and then I didn't watch that at the time when I started working on it there was no like YouTube videos or anything for me to watch or I didn't use my common sense and, and, and say, hey, yo, let me look up a YouTube video on how to do this and that. Girl, so I went to the fabric store one day, back, 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 back in the day when I wasn't even thinking about YouTube. Went to the fabric store, I got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful chiffon fabric, right? And I said, oh yeah, we making a, a, a slip dress, baby. I took one of my slip dresses that I got from Shein. Mind you, Shein is not all that with the sizes, sometimes it's a little bit wonky. And the dress that I had, it was a little bit wonky. But anyways, I laid it on top of the, the fabric that I got from the fabric store. And I cut, 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 when I cut, 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 baby. Why that thing was a square? Child, anyways, so, cut the story short. I have accumulated that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful craft. And um, I love it. It definitely zens the mind. Like, you know, it's definitely a therapy for me. And like, two things in life. God and sewing. Put it together, happiness. Ah! Next question, what challenges did you overcome and what techniques do you use to overcome them? The challenges or the challenge that I overcame was saying, I'll wait. Like, so I didn't want to start sewing or anything because I always thought like, I just want to be the designer and then I'll get like a seamstress to sew my stuff. But it's time to take risk. You don't know what tomorrow holds. You don't know, you just don't know what's gonna. Life, very unpredictable, very unpredictable. And I'm so grateful that I'm here to live and to breathe and to like my heart is beating like the fact that i'm here in 2024 is crazy to me right now but take risk that's that's a child i was scared to take risk how did i overcome that i guess i just got fed up with myself and and definitely plan like you don't want to over plan but have a plan like, I, I guess i just got i got tired of it one day and i went to joanne's I saw I saw my first pattern and my cousin was like, just take it girl, just just take it up. You know, just get the pattern. And I'm like, what if I don't do it? She was like, well, nothing beats trying. She said something around the aspects of that. Nothing beats trying and now like sewing. Of course, I'm on a little bed rest right now because I was sewing and you know, I was hemming the bottom of my dress and you know, I overworked my wrist so, Right here, dead. I would say I overcame the challenges of my insecurity of I thought I was ugly, but like that was 2022. It doesn't even matter anymore. It doesn't even matter because I know I'm beautiful. God beautified the meek with salvation and I'm the meek and he the one that beautified me. So it doesn't matter if you think I'm ugly, if the other person next to you thinks I'm ugly, if the person sitting behind you think I'm ugly. Because one day, someday, God will provide somebody for me that I don't even have to think about if I'm ugly. Now, first of all, you gotta know for yourself that you're not ugly. You have to love yourself. You have to love God, then you have to love yourself. When you love God, he'll put that in you that, yo, you know who you are. Once you know who you are and whose you are, everything comes with it. Like, you'll just start to feel, you know, pretty about yourself i ain't gonna lie your outer appearance matters so if, if you ain't fixing up yourself in the outside you definitely not gonna feel good in the inside what did you learn about yourself i learned that i have more skills than i thought i did i'm able to do more than i thought i knew how to do i'm unlocking new levels i'm on a level three i need to be like on a level six at the end of this year no cap, and we're gonna work towards it. Oh, this is a good one. What new good and bad habits did you start? A new good habit that I started was doing it, not procrastinating. Of course, sometimes I do procrastinate on some stuff, but overall, like just doing it, just getting to it, because if it takes five minutes to get done, 
just do it. Me and procrastination we have beef and we will forever have beef. I don't ever wanna be comfortable with procrastinating. Bad habit that I've, I think this has been a long, like an ongoing bad habit that I've um, had, but it's snoozing my alarm. Like I wanna get up. Like get up girl, stop sleeping, get up. I'll set five alarms and I'll snooze all five of them. Turn up, get up off of the bed. Time to go to work, I time to, you know, do what you have to do. Like hopefully this year I'm able to work on my sleeping habits. My sleeping habits are terrible, terrible. I gotta work at six, I'm going to bed at three. No, I wanna start incorporating that eight hours of sleep into my life. I need eight hours to come in and three hours to get the step in. That's what I need. What were the best and worst things that happened? All right, we're not gonna dwell on the negative. I don't even, like nothing has impacted me. Yeah, nothing has impacted me in 2023 that I'm like, <gasps> distraught about that i'm like oh my god that was the worst like no but the some of the best things that has happened to me i was able to travel i was able to start sewing like that's like i feel like that's one of the best things that has happened to me in 2023 and i was also able to you know have my own space to do my crafting it's a little small space but i'm really grateful for it because i'm i'm just able to get into the zone yeah oh and i was also able to like you know like zone in on god like, that's one of the main goals top priority matthew 633 my favorite scripture i mean favorite verse seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and then all other things will be added unto you i want this to be a god year like i mean all my life i want it to be god in every season not just christmas and it never has been just christmas but definitely honing in on like knowing god if you're in a relationship you want to get to know the person and you want the person to also get to know you how do you do that by making time for them so that's definitely what i want to do last question and then we get into what we've accomplished on our 2023 vision board what are you thankful for i am thankful for life like for life and family and i have a home like that's what i'm most thankful for life at the top like i'm living i'm breathing like if nothing else god if nothing else isn't going right i have life and that's that's the that's enough to give thanks for so i'm mostly thankful for life <laughs> Now we're gonna get right into this vision board, what it looked like. Um, I didn't do a YouTube video on it because I've been seeing this a lot. Shut up about your 2024 plans, about your goals, about your vision board, because there's people around you. You don't know them, they might know you. I mean, you don't know them, they might know you, or you don't know them and you don't wait. They don't know you and you don't know them, or they know you and you don't know them, or you know them, but they don't know wait pause. They don't know you, but they see you. So, because 2023 has been gone in the past, I can finally share my 2023 vision board. I did make a reel on Instagram, but I won't be sharing my 2024 vision board, but you know, you'll just see. you just see the blowest of mine. So, I'm just gonna post it on the screen. This was my 2023 vision board. It was called Visions for the Future. This was the most beautiful vision board I've ever made in my entire life. This is, first of all, this is my second vision board that I've ever made in my entire life. So, but the first vision board, it was just a lot. It was crowded, but we're not going that far. We're going back to 2023. So we're going to start up in the left hand upper corner, which is AWA, which is my, if you see the word above it, it's in the process. Like I said, I finally took a risk, not knowing how it's going to go. But with God, I know I'm, I'm gonna reach far with that one right there. And then I have like quotes throughout the vision board. So in the middle it says, consistency is more important than perfection. I definitely struggle with consistency, like especially with YouTube. Not that I, I, like now that I think about it, I'm not even doing YouTube for money. I'm not doing YouTube for views. I'm literally doing my YouTube now to document my journey so I can look back on my videos and be like, yo, this is where you're coming from. This, like you literally sat in this room and recorded your stuff. Like you, like thing like that, you know? So like, I definitely struggle with consistency. I do want to be more consistent on YouTube, you know, just to document the moments, you know, in my life that I feel that I need to share and that I'm going to look back on. <laughs> definitely God in faith this year I do want to move God in the center I mean it was at the top but you know when you put God in the center of everything you know everything surrounds it God just spreads out and just works throughout the rest of the ideas and the plans that you 
may have for the rest of the year so definitely go deeper and stronger in my faith below that it's a car it's 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 a car it's a thirty four thousand dollar honda crv i think 2020 Three. Did I have enough faith that I was gonna get this car? No. Am I saving towards this car? Hmm, I don't know. But that uh, clearly didn't happen. Next, modest fashion. I was definitely able to dress how I wanna dress and that's like one of the big factors. Like I've always wanted to impress other people with how I dress, but maybe now. If I look a mess, I look a mess. If I look sick, I look sick. If I look mad, I look mad. But at the end of the day, love me, period. That's what matters. If you don't like my granny, my granny sweater, it's your business. I love it. That's what matters. If I feel good about myself, if I look in the mirror and say, yes, I look good, then I look good. Period. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. What I've learned through 2023, and I will not bash anybody for this. Modesty, if you look up the word modest and there were to be pictures, there will be different pictures different types of people under that category of modesty i can only show somebody how to dress modest but i will not pound somebody on modesty so this is my definition of modesty you know if you go on my instagram shawnee with the t you'll see how i view modesty as a christian girl but i definitely body christian fashion i say christian body modest body modest body body modesty fashion this year and i just want to do it bigger and better this year i want to represent god you know when people look at me they're like yo this girl is mad different i love it i love it um, travel, I definitely traveled. I went to DR. I just didn't post a video because like, I don't know. The trip was a little bit, it wasn't like Mexico. If you watch my Cancun vlog, it was nothing like Mexico. And I don't want to compare the two, to, to the two, uh, you know, vacations. But I, the fact that I went out of, out of the country and I was able to experience somewhere different. One thing about it, it was hot. I was able to get myself a Sony ZV-1. Now my old camera, let me show you. Oh, we always gonna love this Canon. But this is where it got. Yeah, tis the life. I had to start putting duct tape to hold it down. The battery, the battery would pop out. I just had to invest. I don't have bad eating habits, but when I eat, I eat. I always said, like last year, I always said, you know, it don't matter what I, <laughs> it don't matter what I eat. Somebody gonna love me one day anyway. But at the end of the day, if somebody love me and I deceased because of my eating habits, don't like that one. So I need to change my eating habits. But if I'm gonna eat something, you know, eat fruits and stuff like that. So incorporate, you know, more fruits and vegetables in my eating and living. I also forgot to add, I did like speaking of, you know, health and food. I also did the Daniel fast for 21 days and le let me tell you like in in the temporal aspect physically i saw changes that three weeks changes i mean i lost i lost about 15 to 17 pounds like i wasn't even exercising but just changing my my eating habits alone helped me feel better about myself you know i woke up earlier i was more energized i was able to tell the difference between eating healthy and not eating healthy like, i was able to go throughout my day i would definitely do the day fast again but also i grew spiritually i was able to accomplish a good amount of stuff on my vision board for the most part there was like three or four things I wasn't able to accomplish, which was, you know, buying the car, getting my debt done up, and then morning stretches. I started morning stretches and then I stopped. And the thing about it is that when you're doing a vision board, you wanna be intentional about your vision board. But there are going to definitely be pictures on this vision board that'll be on my 2024 vision board because I ain't letting it go. I definitely wanna start reading more. I just have a problem with reading. I don't know. Like I open the book, chapter one, page one, and I start yawning. I'm like, huh? What's really going on? I, I really want to get in my reading bag. My sister is a bookhead, whatever y'all call them people, bookies. Definitely want to get in my reading bag. Even reading like one book a month, I don't know. One book every month, one book every other month or 
something along those lines definitely want to be more consistent on youtube even if it's a video every week i don't know when i'm gonna post yeah but i'm gonna try to give myself a deadline and everything i mean i don't have a hundred thousand subscribers yet but listen i have to work for it like if i want something i gotta work for it and there's there's not it's not just oh i get the plaque because i've been watching like especially Aaliyah, this girl on youtube Aaliyah simone there's so much behind just a youtube it's not just oh film edit upload the video no there's so much behind that when you have a bigger platform there's so much more that you have to put in and put and do like you're literally taking out half of your life to give to youtube so you know it's it's it's, it's more than just editing filming editing and, and posting we're gonna set some realistic goals on this year i hope all of you guys you know set goals that you want whether it's achievable or not whether you want to shoot for the stars listen the sky is the limit and probably pass that i hope all of you you know step into this new year with a new mindset and if you don't if you have the old mindset from 2023 figure out how to change your mindset right and i'm talking to myself as well because this year is going to be bigger and greater don't find yourself in the same position that you were in january 1st 2023 be bigger be better i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i want to chat to watch but a long time i didn't sit down and do a sit down video with y'all so i hope to see you guys in my next video and if i don't see you guys in my next video i'll definitely see you guys in the next video after the next video have a great 2024 and i hope by the end of this year we're gonna be celebrating 50k Say it and believe it, girl. Stop smiling. K. That sounds so weird in my mouth. 50K! That's half of 100K. 50K. And in my head, I'm seeing 50.1K. Now, I'm saying it, but I need to work towards it. It's not just I say a number and I'm not working towards it. That means posting. That means being consistent. That means being on my on my grind. That means, you know what I'm saying? Coming, coming through for y'all. Y'all understand? Like for the five or the four that was watching the video. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. God loves you. Have a great day wherever you watch it from. Stay blessed. Peace. It's like whenever I decide to record, things other than the norm tend to happen.